Let's get this show on the road. Hello, citizens of YouTube! My name is Nightingale, and I have been pushing off making my first YouTube video for too long, and I thought I'd kick this channel off with a bang by making gluten-free Fig Newtons. It's gonna be interesting how this is gonna turn out because I'm not gonna follow a recipe. I looked at a few recipes before this video, but I thought I'd just kind of make my own up because that's how I roll. I kind of just throw things in until things are the right texture that I like, and I can't really find any gluten-free Fig Newtons out there, so I thought I'd make my own. <laughs> Fun fact, I'm gluten-free. I am dairy free and I am refined sugar free. I like to eat healthy, but I still like my sweets. Okay, I need to stop trying to be funny because I'm not. Yeah, that's just, um, let's get started. Alrighty, we're going handheld now. I'm gonna be using this Halloween notepad to write everything down because I love me some Halloween, and I wish it was Halloween every day. Mm. Here's a pen. Why am I so unprepared? Okay, I found a pen. We're gonna need some dates. I'm gonna start out by soaking these in some hot water so they'll get a little bit soft, so they'll be easier to blend. Yay! So we're gonna start out. I'm just taking a couple of these guys. Oh no, these are really hard. Oh no. Oh no, okay, we're, we're gonna scratch that date. There we go. Dates are my friend. I love them. They're so good. They're especially good with almond butter. Mm. Yes, I am definitely gonna have some of that. We're just gonna pour this over. All right, we're just gonna let that soak. So now onto the rest of the ingredients. We're gonna add some vanilla in there. We're gonna add some cinnamon because cinnamon is the holy grail of all spices. Is it a spice? Yeah, I'm gonna go, it's a spice. We're gonna put a little bit of honey in there. I use really raw honey because raw honey is the best honey. That's, that's all I have to say about that. We're gonna use, this is coconut flour in here. I just put it in this jar because using the bag is, is way too much trouble for me. Of course, we have to use figs because what's a fig newton without a fig, am I right? Uh, yes, yes I'm right. An almond flour. This isn't in one of the jars like the coconut flour because it's just a really big bag and, and yeah. We may use some flaxseed. This is some ground up flaxseed. Maybe to get it more moist we'll use some coconut oil. Yes, I love coconut oil. Okay, I definitely didn't mention this before, but I am recovering from a cold, so I don't normally sound this stuffed up, but um just just roll with it, okay? You're not gonna you're not gonna catch the cold through the camera, so just bear with me and uh, I don't know, enjoy the rest of the video. Like and subscribe and comment down below and Yeah. Well, um my tripod broke. This head is supposed to supposed to connect to that, and uh, I, it just came off. All right, guys, just just bear with me. I'm gonna I'm gonna make the best out of this. It's it's gonna happen, okay? I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be yummy, and I'm just gonna enjoy the Fig Newtons better now. Okay, that's um. Let's let's start making it. Here we have my food process bowl. We're gonna start out with blending up a bunch of these figs in said food processor. Right, ready? Boom! I used about a cup and a half of figs. Now what I did was I tore the little top part of them off and then I tore them apart. So it'll make it just that much easier to blend. Now I'm gonna add two tablespoons of coconut oil. Now my dumb self broke the tablespoon measuring the thing in the garbage disposal, so I only have a half a tablespoon. Okay, never mind. I'm only gonna put one tablespoon of coconut oil in there and then blend it up and then see what the consistency is. All right, ready? Whoosh. 
All right, so here's what the blended mixture should look like. It's kind of sticky and it'll stick together, but it's also kind of crumbly. I'm glad I only put the one tablespoon of coconut oil in there because I ended up adding a tablespoon of coconut flour in there and a fourth of a tablespoon of cinnamon because, you know, cinnamon is the best. In order to get that consistency, I blended it on high for around two minutes. All right, so in our almond flour crust, we're gonna put some almond flour in there. We're gonna mix that with a little bit of coconut flour. I'm gonna put some ground up flax seeds in there. We're gonna put in some vanilla and some ground cinnamon for flavoring. Oh, and our soaked and drained dates. All righty. All righty, so we started out with a half a cup of almond flour, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of ground up flaxseed, a tablespoon of coconut flour, and just a lot of cinnamon, a lot of cinnamon. I just, cinnamon to taste, guys, cinnamon to taste. And to my taste, it's a lot. <laughs> so I just blended it on low until it came to this cookie dough consistency. And I actually like the mixture that I used, but as you can see, it didn't make as much as I thought it would. I think I'm just going to double the mixture that I made. So I'm gonna put the mixture that I just made into a bowl and combine the same amount of ingredients again so I can double the amount of press that we have. Okay, so I was making the mixture again and I realized that my mixture used dates but I don't really wanna soak any more dates and wait like 10 more minutes because I want my Fig Newtons now. So I'm just gonna put, mm, let's say, two tablespoons of honey in there to replace the stickiness of the dates. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys that I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. Alrighty, so I have my fig mixture and my almond flour crust mixture and I have a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use, oh no, my handy dandy scooper thing that has a little release hitch that my mom gave me for Christmas because she's just awesome. So I'm gonna scoop a little ball out of here and plop it onto the baking sheet and then I'm gonna scoop a little bit out of here and then plop it on top of that and then do the same thing with that on top of that and just uh, Fig Newtons man I'm gonna form them into Fig Newtons in a magical way and I would do like a time-lapse of me putting them on the baking sheet and forming them into Fig Newtons but <laughs> my lovely tripod broke so I can't do that so I'm just gonna edit it to where I'm done with it Okay, so this is how the finished Fig Newtons turned out. They are quite the mess, but they're gonna taste good and that's all that matters. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's, let's bake these Fig Newtons. This is the lovely mess that I get to clean up while my Fig Newtons are in the oven. Look, can't, there they are. They're so beautiful. You will be in my stomach soon. I love you. Okay, so a while ago I took my Fig Newtons out of the oven and they have been cooling, but just, oh man, look at them. They're so ugly, but they're beautiful on the inside and that's what counts. All right, taste test, ready, go. Mmm, yeah, these are good. They're very chewy and Fig Newton-y. I moved into my bedroom because my boyfriend is out there watching his football game and well hey Lily, hi this is my doggo, her name is Lily and she is a Norwegian elk hound and I, <laughs> I love her so much. Okay, thank you so much for watching my terrible YouTube video. Um, like I said, all the recipe ingredients and all that jazz is in the description. And if you made it to the end, 
that means a lot to me because I know this is very shit quality because, you know, one, this is my first YouTube video, and two, my freaking tripod broke, so everything is all handheld. Thank you again for watching. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and um, make me famous, okay? That's your job. Just subscribe to my channel and I want to be famous. I know that's not going to happen and I'm probably only going to get like 20 subscribers if that, but you know, that's just how we roll, man. Alright, peace out, homie G's. Oh my god, I hate myself. <laughs> Bye! Hey, be cute. Hello. Are you hungry? Yeah? You want some more dinner? You want some Fig Newtons? No, I'm just kidding. You can't have Fig Newtons. But you can have dog food. Dog food. Yay!